Hi guys, Chad here. Welcome to another video with HP Tuners. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through how to download our VCM Suite diagnostic and tuning software on Windows 10 and Windows 11 PCs. I'll also show you how to download the required drivers for MPVI2 OBD2 device. These drivers allow your computer to communicate with your device. The way I like to describe it is your device and your computer speak two different languages and the driver translate it so they can understand each other. Our MPVI2 Plus and the latest generation MPVI3 device do not require any drivers on a computer with all its Windows updates. Without further ado, let's get into it. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna install our VCM Suite software on a Windows 10 machine. This is gonna be the same as on a Windows 11 machine. We're gonna start by going to hptuners.com. We're gonna to go to our downloads page here and navigate to VCM Suite. When you click on this, it's gonna download the software. You're gonna be able to go to your downloads page, wait for it to complete, click on it and install. It's gonna have you click next and show you the version software that you're installing right here. Go ahead and read through our end user license agreement, click accept and click next. It's gonna tell you exactly where it's downloading. Go ahead and click next here and click install as we're ready. Here you're gonna let your computer know that it's okay to make these changes. So go ahead and click yes. Now it's there and we're gonna click finished. For those that own an MPVI2 device, let's walk through how to download the drivers required to make this device work properly. Step one, download the drivers. You're going to go to hptuners.com and click on the downloads page. Here, you're going to find the MPVI2 drivers. Go ahead and download these drivers. Once completed, we're going to visit the folder that it's in. It's a zip file, so you're going to right click on this and click extract all, as you see here. This is going to put these all in a folder that you can use. Here you can see the file unzipped. Go ahead and click on that and get that running. You're going to click yes to allow it to make these changes. Extract the drivers. We're going to hit next in the installation wizard. Go ahead and read the end user license agreement. Click I accept and hit next. Now we can see it's ready to use. We'll go ahead and click finish and you've installed the drivers for your MPVI2. When the steps above are complete, plug in your MPVI2 with USB to your computer. Make sure you're connected to the internet. Open up VCM Editor. You can get to there from your start menu here. You're gonna click help and select about. We're gonna see that we're on the latest software right here, and we can go ahead and install it from there. Once that's done, we're gonna click Help and Resync Interface. So two common problems we see are when installing the software, you try to install the software again. As you can see here, we've already installed the software, and I'm gonna to attempt to install it again. Go ahead and click Next, and we're gonna come across this menu, Change, Repair, and Remove. If you see this, You've already successfully downloaded and installing the software, so just go ahead and cancel out and everything's ready to go. Another problem we see is once the software is installed, you'll try to take the program out of its folder in program files and put it on your desktop. This will break the connection to the rest of the software. Just create a shortcut to your desktop for easy access. I hope this video was helpful and cleared up any questions you had about the software and driver downloads. If you have any questions, Please comment them below and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more VCM suite and tuning tutorials. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.